On the medical fee this morning, black women suffer the greatest maternal mortality rates as our nation marks Black Maternal Health Week and an awareness event is going on now through Wednesday. Now, our first guest this morning shares insight on this medical crisis along with possible solutions. We want to welcome in now Senior Program Officer at the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation, Monique Shaw. Monique, good morning. Good morning to you all. Uh, let's start with the systemic root causes of America's maternal mortality crisis and how it affects people of color specifically. Yeah, thanks so much uh, for, for having me. Um, you know, the, the U.S. has been facing a, a decades-long uh, maternal health crisis that has uh, disproportionately impacted uh, black women and, and communities of color. And unfortunately, racism and discrimination uh, that is um, really embedded in our healthcare settings is often uh, a key cause of the maternal mortality crisis today. Um, but in addition to, to that, um, the disparities that we're seeing are also caused um, by a widespread lack of uh, access to healthcare coverage and quality maternal and child health care, uh, particularly care that is uh, respectful, culturally uh, relevant, and also compassionate. Can you tell us more about the risks women are facing today? Yeah, absolutely. So first and foremost, um, you know, I, I should say that everyone uh, should have the safe and have a safe, respectful, and dignified uh, care and treatment that they deserve and that they need to have in order to have healthy pregnancies um, and healthy babies, um, despite our current systems not supporting these outcomes for everyone. And what we're seeing is that the United States has the highest maternal mortality rate of any high-income country. Uh, and again, this crisis disproportionately affects women of color. Uh, black women um, are nearly three times and, and more in some uh, places uh, more likely to have pregnancy-related complications and, uh, and maternal mortality uh, than, than their white counterparts. Uh, and I think what is most startling about these statistics is that the majority, the vast majority um, of these deaths are preventable. And so that makes each and every single death not only tragic, but really just inexcusable. And we understand there are even some policy solutions that advocates have their eyes on in Congress. Tell us about that. Absolutely. I, I think it's really important to lift up the importance of expanding access uh, to health care coverage. Um, and so we want to make sure um, that states are expanding and strengthening their Medicaid programs. Uh, Medicaid covers more than half of all births in our country and more than 65 percent of births to black mothers. Uh, we also know that Medicaid and increased access uh, to, to health coverage is associated with improved health in pregnancy and, and also um, reduced maternal death rates. So it's really important um, for, for states to look into expanding and strengthening their Medicaid programs. To date, we still have 10 states, including um, Alabama, that have not expanded uh, their Medicaid programs under the Affordable Care Act. And it really is leaving um, folks are falling through the gaps um, and uh, that lack of expansion is denying health insurance coverage to more than over 800,000 women of childbearing age across the country. So it's really important for us to, to look into that more. All right, Monique, if our viewers want, where can they go to find out more information about all of this? Absolutely. So, you know, I recommend that you visit the Robert Wood Johnson's website at rwjf.org um, to look at our page around birthing stories and really lifts up a lot of the work of many of our uh, grantee partners in the space that are on the ground uh, supporting uh, women, children, and, and also their families. All right, Monique Shaw, thanks again for being here with us. Thank you.